Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 4th through June 10th, the first full week of June. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these and if it flips out while I'm shuffling you get to see it now, otherwise we will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. Generally, my readings are love readings, so we're going to keep it at that. If you apply it to your work, so be it. If it doesn't resonate, so be it. If it does, great. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? It just got done raining and the birds are coming back out. So that just telling me that, you know, the sun is going to shine again. It is. Keep that in mind. Oh, shit. That card, you saw how it came out. If it didn't rewind, it just like flipped off my finger. Seven of Swords. This is cheating. I mean, this is the lying, cheating, sneaky, shady individual. Okay, whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are for Sun, Moon, and, and Rising, and Venus. And this it, this could be the person that you're dealing with, or it could be you. And that's throughout the reading, okay? Somebody is sneaking around, doing something. And it could cost them some money. It could cost them a loss. Somebody's not working hard enough. They're not putting in effort into something. There's conflicts and power struggles and fighting going on. Definitely. It's like you're involved in some sort of competition with some other people. And there's a lot of drama and... Um, pettiness, okay? There's, there's some sort of... There's, there's big time conflicts going on here. You're involved with some conflict in your life because somebody is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And they're trying to cover it up and they're, it's causing some conflict. They don't want to be held accountable, whatever it is. This Knight of Cups reversed is like it's not... They don't care about your feelings. Somebody doesn't care about another person's feelings at all. Feelings are not involved here whatsoever. They are. <laughs> well, uh, just to reiterate, there's somebody in this dynamic, whether it's you or another person, that is emotionally unavailable, completely closed off as far as love and care goes. I could care less. I could care less how you feel about what I'm doing. And that is causing problems. It is. They don't care. They're not. There's no love here. There's a lack of love in one direction. So There is. Lack of emotional support. Lack of emotional anything. Closed off. I don't care about how you feel at all. Somebody isn't, isn't very caring at all, whether it's you or the other person. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that I don't want to hear any hate down in the comments. Leave the other signs out of your comments. I don't want to hear that this is your, your, your Libra that you're going out with. Who I'm just using Libra for an example. Keep that shit out of it. We don't put down other people because negativity breeds negativity. And I don't want that on my channel. So if you're feel, feel free to leave a comment. But don't, don't hate on another sign. Okay. This right here is about making a decision. It's time to make that decision to let go of this drama in your life. This is make the decision to let go of this drama. You know, the Seven of Cups is like, you need to become clear. Do you even see what's going on here? 
Mm. Yeah. Somebody needs, you know, is con like I said, let go of the drama. It better you're better off being single and happy and abundant in your own right than dealing with another person that is shady, sneaky, lying, cheating, and doesn't love you. Uh, you know, it just doesn't it doesn't look good. I feel like it's time to release. These are both release. It's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to take a risk. It's time to let go. It's time to drop this depressive situation completely. It is. It's time to drop it completely from your life. Unless you want to keep feeding into it. Because I just, I, you know, it's funny that I told you the story. I don't, I haven't done that for any other readings recently. I did it for one a while back about not commenting down below. Negativity feeds negativity. Drama feeds drama. That's what's going on here. If you stay in this situation, that's why I came up. It's funny how they make things work in readings. There's drama in your life. There's drama, there's bickering, there's pettiness, there's fighting, there's competition. Somebody's competing with you, you know, for like, who knows what reason. You never know what people's reasons are. But it's time for you to, to, to drop it, to drop this. Let go of this drama. You have, you know, you have a lot to be grateful for. You have the skills to take care of yourself just fine, by the way, in case you've forgotten. You don't need somebody to use you. For whatever reason, somebody, I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself, seriously, and stop stalling. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly for somebody who is a liar, deceptive. They don't care about you. They don't care about your feelings. Anyhow. So, let's see. What the hell? What advice do you have for Sagittarius this week? Advice, please. This is supposed to be a love reading, but, you know, apply this to however it fits. Giving up. I think somebody's given up. Somebody is d deciding I'm not going to put in effort and time into somebody that doesn't care about me. I'd rather be alone. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody is giving up. Standing up for themselves. We're going to be alone. Somebody is deciding to be alone. And, you know, feeling really good about themselves. Yeah, you were dealing with a player. There's a player here. And it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a friend, family member. can be a child. can be an acquaintance. Somebody at work. Whatever. You're dealing with a player who has caused uproar and chaos in your life. And I feel like you're receiving an, a new opportunity for stability and security. And you might not even see it yet because of all this drama that's clouding your thoughts or whatever. You know, I feel like you may have gone through a midlife crisis recently. There's some loneliness here. And maybe, you know, that's one of the reasons why you haven't dropped this situation yet for fear of growing old alone. You know? But I feel as though you have the ability to be very abundant. You have the skills. You have everything it need, you need to take care of business on your own. Anyway, and I do see that there is a solid, stable opportunity coming for you. Wow. In love, perhaps. You know, you could. there could be a commitment coming that is very stable and secure. It is. But you, ha you have to close the door. There's closure needed first before this can happen. This, the world card in reverse is something hasn't been closed yet. It hasn't. It hasn't. And you know what this is. You do. So if you're waiting for this, if you're waiting for this new solid, stable, wonderful, loving opportunity, partner, whatever, you're going to have to drop the wrong one. You are. You're going to have to drop something. That is the case. Something has, got, has to go. You have to bring closure to a situation first. There's no doubt about it. Closure needs to happen. And because the world card reversed, it is, hasn't happened yet. It hasn't. Now, wherever you're at that you're still holding on and playing games with. You are. You're playing games with somebody. I don't know who. It doesn't really matter. 
somebody is playing games with you. You're playing with them, you are, because you're, you're engaging, okay? So as long as you engage, you're playing a game. And that is the truth. There is absolutely some games. You're juggling a game. This is a game. You're playing. Somebody is. There's games. Okay. Somebody's playing games and you're, you're playing the game with them. Trust me, you are. Because you haven't ended it. When the world card is upright, you end it. You make it final. It's over. It's the last card in the deck. But this is reverse. You're still playing. So, you know, I don't know why. B because you're still playing, you are blocking you're blocking this partnership. You're blocking this because you're still playing. It's time to restore control in your life. This is personal freedom. It's time to free yourself from these change, from this toxic situation that you're in. This right here, the tower in reverse is... is Trying to avoid disaster. You have this fear of suffering. I think the biggest fear is growing old alone. You have this fear of building a solid foundation with anybody else. You have this fear that to get involved and then get cheated again. Son of a bitch. But the thing is, is you're beautiful. You are. And as long as you show the universe, because this is a universe card and this is a universe card, but you haven't shown the universe yet what you're worth. If you can prove to the universe what you are worth by taking action to drop this drama and these games from your life and to take a risk and to stand up for yourself, if you can prove that you love yourself enough to do that, you will go through a renewal and a rebirth and you will call in this soulmate. So I feel like this is a week of restoring control in your life, freeing yourself from a toxic situation so that you can go through this rebirth that is so much needed. Now, the Empress is ruled by Venus, which is the goddess of love, beauty, art. You are more beautiful than you even know. You were born to be abundant. You've gained a lot of wisdom through this drama and games that you have been engaged in. You have. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Now it's a time of fertility. It's a time of growth. Look at it as that. Don't look at it as fear of suffering or, oh, I'm going to suffering. I'm going to suffer if I move on or whatever. Don't look at it like that. Look at this as a time of rebirth. That's what this is. Drop the drama. Stop playing the games and go through this rebirth that is here for you. I don't know why I did this, but I turned it over. I was just, I didn't even look down. It just happened. But this Ten of Cups is a challenge. It's a challenge. Happily ever after at this point in your life is a challenge for you. It's a challenge when it's sideways to me. It's a challenge because you have to, you have to take the steps. You do. You have to love yourself enough to take the right steps to remove drama and games from your life. You have, you have potential for happily ever after. But you also have potential for this dream of happily ever after to die. It can go both ways. Happily ever after. Dying happily ever after. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's in your hands. So anyway... I feel like this is a week of restoring control, taking back the control, releasing a toxic situation, free or freeing yourself from these, these games. Right now, you're blocking this new beginning. The world car is a new beginning. You're blocking it with this eight of wands. You're blocking it. You're blocking this new beginning in love. Prove to the universe that you love yourself and it will come. Worth waiting for. 
Divine timing is at work in your love life. And that is what's happening. You're growing. You're evolving. You're healing. You're being reborn. But there's still some steps that you need to take. And that means releasing drama and toxic people from your life. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. I told you, you've been, gone, you've been going through a period of growth. And, you're, and love is around the corner. Self-love needs to come first. See the sun started to come right in? That was for you. After the rain, things grow, seriously. And the sun comes back. It comes in. It does. Talk to you later.